<coughs> yes children welcome to english grammar class today we shall discuss another one important topic especially for 10th standard that is question tags children most probably from 8th and 9th onwards you are going to learn the question tags but if i ask you how many rules is we have and what is the definition of question tag is it possible to answer me no yes because you know how to add the question tag but that is also in one um, unwanted measure scale means a blind leap but no children we should learn each and every topic with its own rules and with its own beautiful examples then only we can understood clearly without any misunderstanding dear children then as i told you today we are going to discuss about the question tag dear children the question tag see the word itself is a combine or combination of two words question tag it means question one word and tag dear children question means okay question tag means what tag means to join to add to get together like this okay see we can, we should add the question tag to which if we add question tag to a statement or to the sentence or to what in which way why we should add the question tag to which we have to add the question tag okay here again the problem will rise dear children we should not add the question tag to the sentences we should add the question tag only the statements only the statements okay dear children <coughs> there is a doubt in your mind i think what is the difference between sentence and statement and some others children if i ask how many kinds of sentences are there what is your answer your answer is sir there are four kinds of sentences one is assertive it is also called declarative interrogative imperative and exclamatory okay exactly correct if i ask you how many types of sentences don't forget it previously i asked how many kinds of sentences you gave the answer four kinds of sentences if i ask you again how many types of sentences what is your answer see don't give the same answer here types is there are three types of sentences in english one is simple compound and complex simple sentence complex compound sentence and complex sentence like this there are three types of sentences four kinds of sentences <coughs> and how many kinds of statements are there in english if i asked this question to you what is your answer you are going to making like this no children need not necessary to going to think like this 
you should answer there are two kinds of statements there are not sentence there are two kinds of statements one is positive statement another one is second negative statement one is positive statement another one is negative statement we should add the question tags to these two types of statements only two types of statements only come on let us discuss about what is the definition of question tag dear children the definition of the question tag is quite clear <coughs> come on write down if it is essential for you yes it is essential please note down note down question tag is a short form of question i will repeat it again question tag is a short form of question add to a statement question tag is a short form of statement the question tag is a short form of question add to a statement why we should add the uh, question tag to the statement because listen we have to confirm the statement that has to be made we have to confirm the statement that has to be made here the definition is clear this one that is question tag is a short form of question add to a statement to make the statement confirm that has to be made see this is the definition of question tag dear children we already know that the definition and meaning of the question tag come on let us discuss how many rules as we have to follow while we are going to add the question tag dear children <coughs> according to the grammar rule we have to follow seven rules as we have to follow seven rules as if we follow all these seven rules as most probably we should not we we never and ever make any mistakes in this format okay come on let us discuss about the rules what are the rules is we have to follow which are those rules children please look here rule number 1 rule number 1 only helping verbs are used in question tag see in a sentence helping verb is also there and main verb is also there we should not use main verb in question tag only helping verbs are used in question tag or you can say like this only helping verbs are repeat in question tag only helping verbs are repeat in question tag okay or else you can say only helping verbs are used in question tag okay see that helping verbs means for example rama is playing a cricket in this statement in this statement rama subject is helping verb playing main verb cricket object like this we will going to uh, classify the sentences like this helping verb means it helps the main verb so it is called helping verb i will explain in verb uh, class okay see children only helping verbs only helping verbs are used in question tag come on let us i uh, discuss the second rule statement with v1 statement with v1 have question tags with do or does dear children as i told you uh, <coughs> in your offline grammar classes v1 
means v1 v2 v3 v1 ing i told these four verb classifications i told you already the verb classifications once again i will repeat it okay v1 means simple present v1 means simple present simple present v1 means simple present i will give you the examples then only you can understand clearly then v2 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 means simple past tense simple past tense simple past tense simple present v1 means simple present v2 means simple past then v3 ah no 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 say don't say simple future v3 means v3 means past participle past participle past participle past participle past participle see there v3 means past participle see there v1 simple present v2 simple past v3 <coughs> past participle v1 ing v1 plus ing means present participle this is present participle present participle don't forget don't forget this one children i use uh, in i am ds and ids also and av and pv also i am going to use only this type of symbolics because i don't uh, explain v1 means simple present v2 means simple past v3 means past participle v1 ing means present participle like this please confirm now and be remem uh, remember always this one if i say v1 v1 means you try to understand clearly or suddenly oh v1 means simple present v2 simple past v3 past participle v1 ing present participle like this children because <coughs> these are the symbols we have to used at the time of further grammar explanation for example you see yes v1 means for example simple present means go for example go yes uh, what is the simple past go went went and what is the past participle v3 gone gone and present participle v1 plus ing v1 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 go plus ing 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 <coughs> see there going it means see there v1 means simple present go simple past go went past participle v3 past participle v3 gone and present participle v1 plus ing that is going go went gone going v1 means go v2 means went v3 means gone v1 ing means going like this right like this right wrote return return and writing see right wrote return writing like this children don't forget this one v1 v2 v3 v1 ing please remember always in your mind okay see there v1 statement with v1 means simple present or present tense statements present tense statements statement with v1 have question tax with do or does with do or does do you can use in singular does you can use in plural okay yes the come to the third rule statement with v2 statement with v2 have question tax with the did v2 means simple past v2 means past statements 
past tense statements past tense statements statement with v2 means past tense statements v2 have for syntax with did with did okay see there then next one fourth one positive statements have negative question tags next one negative statements have positive question tag dear children again you are going to get disturbed means jumbling why oh, why positive statements have negative question tags and negative statements have positive question tags children see each and every rule is also confirmed by the grammatician 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 and here see there i will give you i will give now uh, example for example in science you know two magnetic pieces these are the two magnetic pieces magnetic piece you know see there one end is n another one end is s south pole south pole and north pole and this is also now south pole and north pole like this see these two magnetic pieces if you join if you join see that n s and s n if you make like this if you make add if you make tag the same north pole and south pole the same poles does not get together why because the same the same poles will going to reject or will going to make gap between here otherwise you see if you join like this see there how these two magnetic pieces how to these two magnetic pieces will join together because this is south pole this is north pole they will going to get together that is why the positive statements have negative negative question tags negative statements have positive question tags totally totally different okay i hope this example may help to you in understanding this one that is why stay positive statements positive statements have negative question tags negative statements have positive question tags don't get misunderstanding here try to i am going to explain clearly positive statements have negative question tags yes and s will not join or n or n will not join together n and s and s and n joins together see positive statements have negative question tags negative statements have positive question tags say the sixth one the subject of a question tag is always a pronoun subject of a question tag the subject of a question tag is always a pronoun instead of using the noun we should use pronoun only for example rama is noun instead of using rama we have to use pronoun that is he instead of using sita sita is also a noun instead of using sita we used its pronoun that is she and if it is animals or or non living things we can use it he she it then we us like that we have to use only pronoun we should not use noun as a subject of a question tag that is why the subject of a question tag is always a pronoun 
always a pronoun and last one children in negative question tags the short form of negatives should be used in negative question tags the short form of negatives should be used first for, for example is plus not is plus not we can use isn't isn't not is not so in question tag isn't and like this was plus not wasn't has in the same way r plus not aren't will plus not won't has plus not hasn't had plus not hadn't have plus not haven't do plus not don't does plus not doesn't did plus not didn't can plus not can't like this we can use only short form of negatives we should use only short form of negatives in question tag we don't use the full form of negatives he is not was not will not no we shouldn't use we should use only the short form of question tag is plus not isn't was plus not wasn't will plus not won't can plus not can't should plus not shouldn't would plus not wouldn't like this okay children please remember always in your mind all these seven rules we have to apply while we are going to add the question tag okay children i hope you understood all the definition and meaning and the seven rules also okay children come on now let us discuss all these with the help of beautiful examples then only we can understand it clearly okay children thank you